and assalamu alaikum. I am Sir Ali, having my third lecture of my series of English language teaching. And before I talk in my two lectures, the introduction of English language and present something. What I am going to teach you right now, definitely I am going to teach you present progressive. How we use present progressive, and what places are there where we use present progressive, how many usages are there in present progressive, and overall we are trying to have a look towards present progressive. So first of all, I am going to tell you that how many usages are there in English language of present progressive. There are four usages of present progressive in my syllabus. Number one is Number one is in the middle of an action. In the middle of an action. Number two is temporary situation. Number two is temporary situation. And number three is changing and developing situation. And number four is future planning. What does it mean? It means that there are four uses of present progressive in English language. Number one, in the middle of an action. Number two, temporary situation. Number three, changing and developing situation. And number four, Future planning. Now, I'm going to teach you one by one. Now, I'm checking number one in the middle of an action. Where it's very easy in the middle of action when any action is going on. When we are in the middle of an action, when any action is going on, the temp uh, syntax is very easy. Subject plus B plus ing form or plus object. We can make different sentences. Like, uh, I am teaching you, I am looking at you, I am driving a car, I am writing something on the piece of paper, I am taking my class, I am giving my lectures. It's very easy. When we are in the middle of any actions. Right. Number two. Number two is temporary situation. The temporary situation, what is the difference between in the middle of action or temporary situation? In the temporary situation, we add one thing. For and mention time. The definition of temporary situation is very easy. When we are going to do a work and before going to do that work, we have mentioned the time for doing that work. For example, I am taking my class, it is in the middle of an action. With I am taking my class for one hour. That is temporary situation. Another example, I am taking rest for one hour. Another example, I am going to Dubai for 15 days. And how can we ask questions regarding temporary situation? I am going to tell you. If I want to ask that for how many days are you going to Dubai, the sentence is how many plus time. How many days are you going to Dubai? How many years are you doing? your MBA. How many months are you working in this company? So you can make different questions by using how many plus time. 
Now the third use is changing and developing situation. What does it mean? When any state is going to change gradually or slowly, any state, any state of human being, state of anything, state of your environment, and state of weather. For example, what is the formula of changing and developing situation? It's very easy. Subject plus B plus getting and after getting we always use adjective. We never use any other thing. Subject plus B plus getting plus adjective. Examples are I'm getting slim. I'm getting fat. You are getting rich. I'm getting confidence. My English is getting improved. My accent is getting attractive. I'm getting bored. I'm getting tired. You are getting tired. The weather is getting cold. The weather is getting hot. It is getting dark. Pakistan is getting developed. And so many other examples are. Number four, that is future planning. And what is the main essence of future planning? What is the main point in future planning? It's very easy. When you have already decided to do a work in future, you use future planning. How? When I have decided myself to offer Hajj next year, and I'm not discussing to any of my relatives, I never say I will offer my Hajj. I must say I am offering my Hajj next year. Because I have decided. I will say, after six months, I am going to New York with my family. I never say I will go to New York after six months. If it has been decided for me that I am using present progressive. I am going to New York next June, next July, next December. Okay? So this is the usage of present progressive. As I taught you, there are four uses in present progressive. And thank you very much to watching my third lecture. I am Sir Ali. Allah Hafiz and goodbye. Thank you very much.